All right, uh, we saved. I gotta reload my gun because I'm missing a bullet. Uh, we've got the key. Curvy tailed flying squirrel keys. Cause of course there's more squirrel keys. This game really likes their squirrel keys. All right, wall ladies, I'm ready for you. I am very ready for you. There you are. Right, the sounds are off. There you go. Oh, she got me. Fuck. I went the wrong way, I guess. Still better than the first time I just had to fight these people. I feel like I, like, did nothing there. Let me just reload for a second. Just chill out there. Actually, I don't think you're doing much chilling. I hear another one. I love how they just sit there in the fire. Why did that not hit you at all? Wait a second. It's bullshit. Okay, that works. Fire, the, the fire flamethrower is the best weapon for dealing with these people. Spawn the enemies. Got him. Okay. Any more in this room in the in the cubbies? No? Okay. What do we got? Not with the, the enemies in the tiny room. Oh, cool. They're like right here. Okay, he just shot in a completely different direction. Everything's under control. That door is sealed, so we gotta go through here. That was a very interesting hallway, and now there's fire! Oh. Ow. What do I feel like I've been in this room before? I'm getting some deja vu. Let me use a med kit. Let's go with a medium one. <clears throat> Why not? Okay, the, it sounds like the enemies to the left, which means the enemies to the right. I will never be not amused by the like dances that the, the enemies do when they're on fire. Hmm. 
No, oh, there's some money here. Very uh, intimidating looking fire, for sure. Is there anything around here where that box was? I guess that was, that's the entrance, okay. Nothing in this room. This is just a weird area. It feels emptier than usual. I wonder if they were rushed at the end. Like they've not, they haven't added anything new is what I'm mostly complaining about. When is the game from? Uh, 2007, 2009? Late, the late 2000s. Chocolate. I go for some chocolate. I remember getting the, having this game on the Xbox 360 when I was like in high school and I played, oh, there he is. I played it for a little bit and then, which is so thrown off by how bad it was. Oh, we're, play, we're playing our, our game again, where I basically move around the room and just press B every now and again to avoid the axes. Evaded, sucker. Evaded. The game, I can also tell that the game's just not like optimized to handle the two viewpoints because anytime they do this with the two windows like this, it lags. Like there's frame rate lag because it's trying to render the area twice. Well, and to reload. You having fun throwing axes at me, George? How many of these things do you have anyway? Why do you have the most impressive axe collection in the world? I can't see your threatening gesture at me. It's too dark. Let's end the Raincoat Killer legend here, Zach. Yeah, let's. It's certainly legendary. How are you not dead? Four shots and you're still alive. Okay. Okay. You guys are dead. That door is open. I guess we'll go through this door, see what awaits me. I'm observing. Why would Emily's desk be here? Good question. I have no clue. Emily's bagel sandwich. Okay, did she make this or not? Because Emily's cooking is apparently, like, toxic. <laughs> like, York was impressed that her that her coffee that she brought him was bad too. Take some some heavy cigarettes. I think it's the only kind of cigarette I've even seen like for sale. All right. Uh, let's see here. What's up, dude? How's it going? That door is locked. Big old shutter door. 
it's just a bagel, but she thinks it's a sandwich because it's got two pieces of bread. Oh yeah. If I when I take a when I take a bagel and I put an egg and bacon on it, I call it a breakfast sandwich. It's a difference if you if you put only like cream cheese on it and then call that try and call that a sandwich. But if you're putting things in there, like solid things. Okay. Enemies, where are you? Oh, whoa. what the hell just happened? Oh, it's a shooting range. Okay, I understand. I'm currently at the wrong end of a shooting range. I'm actually curious to see what would happen, like, if this- I want to look at the sandwich real quick. This is important to me. Emily's Bagel Sandwich. It recovers both hunger and tiredness, but then makes them increase again faster. <laughs> what if it was just another bagel slice? What if I if I took You're saying take a bagel, cut it in half, and then take an, an extra half of a of another bagel and put that between the two bagel slices and try and call that a sandwich. Well no, because I wouldn't say it's a sandwich if you took three slices of bread and just put them on top of each other. That's not that's not a sandwich. Listen, th there is no like definitive definition of what is a sandwich. You've, you've got these crazy people out here that do open face sandwiches, which is which is one piece of bread. And you're gonna tell people that that's not a sandwich? So you can't use two pieces of bread as your as your defining characteristic. Looks like let me reload. There you go. Everybody's are always arguing about what is and what isn't a sandwich. We don't have a concrete definition of what a sandwich is anyway. Okay, there's no enemy there. I was gonna be upset if I got hit there. Hello, Bob. How you doing? Okay, we made it through the shooting gallery. Like, why does peanut butter and jelly, or like a peanut butter sandwich, or a butter sandwich? Because I used to have butter sandwiches. Oh shit. I evaded. Hey, cat, you didn't make it, make it easy for me. He's laying right on my hand. George, where are you going? That's a dead end. I guess, I guess it's not a dead end for him. He has on a superpower of just melding through things. All right, this is the only way to go. Oh, are we finally got heading into the secret room? Is that what's happening now? According to Webster, two or more slices of bread or a split roll having a filling in between. Wouldn't another bagel Slice count as a filling. It fits in the space between two bagel halves. I raise again the question about an open face sandwich. Because people say that's a sandwich. 
You can't say two or more slices of bread. I, I have a fundamental disagreement with this definition. What is happening? Why why am I suddenly at it feel like I'm in the middle of a Mario Party minigame? Are you gonna start rolling boulders down at me? I don't know what these strange symbols are on the on the walls. But okay. We're we're going up. Watching out for boulders. Trying to collect the money. It's very dramatic. I don't know why you decided to scatter money up here. This would be more imposing if it was just empty. Oh boy, I can take the ice axe. I can't have. I don't have any room for it. Alternatively, according to Lebser, one slice of bread covered with food, buttered bread count as a sandwich. Toast is just a sandwich. <laughs> I think we need to have a word with Webster about their definitions of a sandwich. I think. I think there's too many counter examples. <laughs> it's all a matter of opinion. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. Why like? When I was a kid, I would have I would have a butter sandwich with dinner every once in a while. It was literally just bread and butter folded in half in the shape of a sandwich. Does that count as a sandwich? Does the act of folding it transform it from toast? <laughs> from toast? Actually, not even toast, just bread to a sandwich. And according to that as well, hot dogs would be qualified as sandwiches. And that's an entire other can of worms that people like to argue about is whether a hot dog is a sandwich or not. Uh. Yes, Bob. Mwah. Cute boy. Okay, what's this over here? Oh, yes. Give me that turkey sandwich. See, that one we can all agree is a sandwich. Pet Bob, you got it. Okay. Yep, and here he is looking for it. And now that he didn't find it, he's disappointed and he's gonna walk off and sulk. <laughs> ah, strange cats. Alright, anyway. I'm here to play video games. So let's see. What's inside door number one, I guess? There's only one other door in this room. The other one's sealed. Oh, cool. Are we are we done? No more spoops. We get intense organ. Welcome to Greenvale. Agent Francis York Morgan. I've been here for a couple weeks now at this point. I finally got to see the real Greenvale. I knew you country folk were shy. It took you long enough to show me who you really are. York. This is a wonderful and powerful town. Especially when it is raining. I always get depressed when it rains. Especially in this town. This town has two great treasures. Do you know what they are, York? The gas Those and the are one of seeds. Them. But I don't think they deserve to be called a treasure. An ordinary man could never appreciate their true value. But you'll agree with my selection on the second treasure, anyway. Oh, is it Emily? I don't disagree with treasure number two. Emily sparkles like a precious gem. This town changed since she came here. The goddess from the city gave us the fruit of knowledge and gave us sin. Why do you have such spiky bracelets? I was such a fool. A fool for being satisfied by the petty girls from this countryside town. Ah, uh, George, I agree you were a fool. And you are a fool, even now. Run it, York. You're the fool here. 
Dexter, Whoa. Diane, and Carol. They all died right in front of you. You couldn't save even one of them. Not even one. You're the worthless fool here. And that's what proves it. But me, unlike you, I am strong. I have power. My mother taught me. The strong, who can overpower others, is always correct and right. My mother stepped on my face with her stiletto heels because she had power. And when her heel pierced my cheek, I learned to respect her. Since then, I obtained power of my own and found my own disciples. I became divine. All I need now is that goddess of fate and grab her with my hands. I want Emily in her stiletto heels. You're out of your mind. The goddess won't smile for you anymore, George. Sue's got so many issues, I don't even know where to start. You're, you're only getting, like, 10% of those seeds in your mouth, my guy. Is he going Super Saiyan? What is happening right now? This is the mark my mother gave me. Proof of power, the red tree. The red tree? You've got that all wrong, George. That's the mark of child abuse. York is way too calm right now. <laughs> That's no use, York. Carol's death gave me eternal strength. <sighs> Something tells me it'll work. Body. I can no longer be killed. York, aren't you honored? You'll be the first to congratulate me for my new powers. Nice. I appreciate the power pose you got going on there. You still have your infinite axes, though. Proud of you. Okay. So he is invincible at the moment. However, what if I shoot him in the back? Because that looks like a big glowy spot, doesn't it? That worked. Crush. 
Got him. Okay, only two more. Can I shoot him again? Nope. I pressed the wrong button. I was expecting AAY, but they switched it up on me. I don't know how much damage he's capable of doing to me, so I'm just gonna... Just gonna do this real quick. He's watching his way, he doesn't need more than 10%. <laughs> he probably would have won this fight if he actually got more of those seeds in there. You're acting remarkably calm. I missed! I missed! He had his back just right to me. Apparently so, because I can't fucking shoot you for some reason. Got him! Okay. I don't know why you just kind of stood there. Aren't you supposed to get harder as the fight goes on? Aren't you supposed to protect your back a little bit more? Evade. I... Okay, I had no chance to evade that one. Okay, you're dead. I, I kind of am. You've got no more. You've got no more health. <laughs> 